Okay, and now it's time for render layers. So, before we start, we need to know what is render layer and render pass. Okay, let's differentiate between them that render layer is responsible for the visibility of uh, objects in your scene. Or render passes is responsible for the physical to separate between the physical attributes of your shader or uh, to export some kind of uh, passes like UV pass, like normal pass, which is used uh, heavily in compositing, and uh, it's really, really, really time saving uh, for you to do some editing of the rendering your scene, not to go back again and render your scene back. Uh, it's it's really time saving. So in Blender we have both render passes and render layers. Render layers is located here now. It is called the layers and it's not working alone. It's working with in coordination with this layers here. So we were we will uh, cover this uh, now in the session and render passes is located down here. Okay, we will cover this. Now we will see. Uh, now our scene is looking like one piece, as we see. It's all located in one layer here. So we need, first of all, to separate these objects into different layers here. So we will select our ball now, this magic ball, and put it in. Press M and put it in the first layer. Then we select the base and put it on the second layer. And as we see now, we cannot see this base because this layer is responsible for the visibility, as we said before. So we need to click Shift and select this layer 2 to see all our objects. And now we can separate also the floor and press M and click third layer and uh, click shift to save them so that's the basic thing we can do as we see here our scene includes some basic lighting like key lights fill lights and rim lights bottom lights and as we see we need to put them all uh, what what is affecting uh, the floor and what is not affecting the floor? What is affecting the ball and what's not affecting the ball? We need also to separate our lights on this layer. This is this layer is, is this layer is working as a light linking tool in Blender. So we will put this layer uh, this lights and go press zero again here number bad see all and we will select this layer this light which is lighting the bottom of this object and go here and to its attributes and click this layer only and now it's affecting only the layer which is located on and we don't want it to be on the same layer of the floor so if we select now the layer of the floor we can't see the slides and it's okay if we selected this one we can see this the light and we need the light here so we go to this light and click M and now we want it to be located on both on the ball layer and the base layer so we click M and click shift and select the second layer this one let's see this one and let's see this we want the rim light we don't want it to light the floor to so we will click M again and put it on the second layer and check this this layer only it will affect only the layer which is located in as we said before the key light the key light will affect all the scene so we need it to be on all layers our and as we see now our, the effect of the light is starting to be uh, available for us to see and the fill light also should affect all see here all the layers by clicking shift and selecting them all so the first layer includes a bowl and all the lights second layer all the lights and the base third layer the floor and only the key and the filler lights the fill light so 
let's get on camera now and let's try to render okay as you see our image now is rendered and uh, okay I want to say that this texture is not it's not it's only a uh, uh, testing textures it's not it will not be rendered so to adjust our my UV so now this is our final output we have only one shader applied for all our objects in the scene and it's correctly uh, that's correct the correct image you have to uh, find now by clicking render so the other thing we need to do is starting to separate this layers and if we see that again so we have all pass and the combined pass diffuse and depths pass we need to have more passes and to have more render layers we want this ball to be on a render layer and the base to be on a render layer and the floor too so what we, sh we, what we have to do now is going to the second step and go to the layer tab here so as we see we have the scene this is our scene if I click here this controls the visibility so in the old pass we need to have all the layers as we rendered already so we will leave it as it is and now we will create a new layer for the magic ball layer and enter so we need now to do some little thing here we need all to be in the scene or not so you should decide we don't need the floor the floor is not affecting the ball anyway uh, so we can remove our floor layer okay but we have something here wrong that there's an ambient occlusion here that may be affecting the ball so we need to leave the floor layer and the base too and we have the magic ball so we need to put this here and choose which layer will be rendered already so let's try this we have the magic ball on the first layer so I will render only the first layer and let's see the results okay now we have the correct alpha and the correct image as you see so now uh, okay I, I don't want to cut the floor it's not affecting this anyway so we have now set up our first magic ball layer so let's now do our second layer which is the base okay click enter and now let's see we want three of them to be here okay I may remove the floor from the layer it's not affecting the ball it's affecting only the base so I will remove the floor from my magic ball it's not I don't need it so and I will put the base here and let's now choose our base layer so it's the second one and we will choose what mask we will choose the mask of the ball the magic ball and render okay now we have a good alpha and we have a good image as you see it will be very useful for interlocking interlocking like this in here interlocking means that one object may be in the front and the background layer okay so that's the meaning of interlocking and we have this case here the base is the front in the front of the magic ball and in the same time it's back of so we need to cut the ball here we we must cut the ball so let's go and do our floor our floor will be, be the same so let's put it here okay floor layer and we'll choose all of them remove and uh, remove them from the main layers of the visibility layers we'll stay we will put them in the mask layers only and we will render again
Okay, so that's fine now. We have our ball cut it and base from the layer of the floor, and we still have the shadows, and it's nice. So we have the magic ball, and we have the base layer, and we have the floor. That's really nice. Okay, that's for our layer now, and we will meet you again for the render passes. See you.